the increase in the anticipated continued increase, which was, I think, what some of your colleagues were asking about, that that is a, a direct result of uh, the invasion of Ukraine. And also, there was an anticipation uh, that was that. You think gas prices are way too high? Too damn high in this country? Well, buy an electric car. That's what the administration told you to do this week in a sanctimonious little ceremony where they trotted out Pete Booty Judge and Kamala Hyena. And they both said, <laughs> you're poor. Listen. Clean transportation can bring significant cost savings for the American people as well. Last month, we announced a $5 billion investment to build out a nationwide electric vehicle charging network so that people from rural to suburban to urban communities can all benefit from the gas savings of driving an EV. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Imagine a future. The freight trucks that deliver bread and milk to our grocery store shelves and the buses that take children to school and, and parents to work. Imagine all the heavy duty vehicles that keep our supply lines strong and allow our economy to grow. Imagine. Imagine there's no money. Imagine. Imagine that they produced zero emissions. <laughs> well, you all imagined it. That's why we're here today. Because we have the ability to see what can be, unburdened by what has been, and then to make the possible actually happen. So the essential stance of the administration is if you don't have enough money to buy a Tesla, well, then you should just walk everywhere you're supposed to go. <laughs> Pretty bad messaging, honestly. Not only that, but the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, somebody who has absolutely no experience in the energy sector. She started taking chances early on, including trying to get discovered as an actress on the dating game back in the late 70s. Is out saying essentially that in two different appearances, one from the summer and one from recently saying, hey, if you don't like gas prices, you should buy a $70,000 vehicle that you can't even get now because of the microchip shortages. Go. Obviously, we have the acute issues with the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack, but looking more holistically in a macro view, how does this speed up the efforts at DOE to move in more of a renewable direction since this is going to have an impact on people at the pump? Yeah, I mean, we obviously are all in on making sure that we meet the president's goals of getting to 100 percent clean electricity by 2035 and uh, net zero carbon emissions by 2050. And, um, you know, if you drive an electric car, this would not be affecting you, clearly. Uh but my favorite clips from this week are absolutely the Peter Ducey, Jen Psaki back and forth about Joe Biden's choice of vehicles. Joe Biden, being the president of the United States, has a fleet of gas guzzling SUVs, probably some of the heaviest cars on the road that follow him everywhere he goes. Now, we're not arguing against that. The president should certainly be protected. And we are in favor of that. But Joe Biden himself in his personal life has always fancied himself a Corvette lover, a muscle car lover. There's plenty of photos and videos of Joe Biden driving in Corvettes. Those things get like two miles to the gallon. Does Joe Biden own an electric vehicle? Great question. Jen Psaki, take it away. Just one yeah. more about electric vehicles. You guys are pushing electric vehicles today. This is a president who always talks about the power of our example. Mm -hmm. Does he own an electric vehicle? Presidents of the United States don't do a lot of driving. 
He's posted videos where he's revving the engine of his Corvette in Wilmington. He owns cars. And he also has driven electric vehicles as president, as, as to give a model to the rest of the country. Does he own one? I think the president's record on this is clear, Peter. Presidents of the United States, current, and when they are no longer, typically are not doing a lot of driving. Go ahead. I love Jen. I love Jen Psaki's response there. Ah, uh, he's the president. So no, <laughs> he's a member of the elite. So of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't have electric vehicles. Those are for you morons. And by the way, you think they're electric. You think they're clean. They're not. They're not electric vehicles because where does electricity come from? Jackasses comes from coal burning power plants. Power plants in this country, the vast majority of them are coal burning power plants. So it's actually a coal powered vehicle. Stop saying it's electric as though this is like a 100% clean source of energy. The electricity, you capture it from the sky. It came down in a lightning bolt and then you put it into a Tesla. People are morons. We're gonna crush those losers. Also the batteries in those Teslas, they're mined cobalt. That's where the batteries come from. That comes from slave labor in China. So it's actually a slave labor coal burning car. Stop calling them electric vehicles. Stop lying to us. And you know what? When Joe Biden's fleet goes 100% electric, hey, I'll, I'll respect it but I ain't going to do it. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I like zipping down the road. Uh, if anything, to get away from the apocalypse y'all are creating, I, I, you gotta, you gotta go fast. That's the administration. Man, do they hate you. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing. It keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.